Hello and welcome to the Mouseworks series of how-to instructional model building videos. We here at Mouseworks strive to bring you the best information and techniques to help you get the most out of your model building experience. We will show you how the pros build models step by step so you can easily follow along. Most of the techniques you will see are very easy to learn and simple to accomplish. So sit back and let us show you the tricks and secrets to building your miniature masterpiece. Take a new cup and we'll take and usually go from the neutral gray and add the white. That way you can kind of see how much it lightens up. If you do it the other way around, it's kind of hard to figure out where you're at. So and this paint is going to be very thin and brushed on in a very thin pattern, very thinned out with the, the uh, dilution paint thinner. So we don't need a whole lot of it, but okay, let's give that a try. Mix that around. Okay. I don't want this looking too much, uh, too much lighter because it's on the underside of the airplane. So I don't want it to look really crazy because the first of all the sun doesn't get quite down on the bottom as much as it does the top and your shadow effect will keep it a little bit darker but I do want something just to show that there's a difference and that looks like that might be enough so what we'll do is we'll stir it a little more we'll put a whole bunch of thinner in there to really thin it out I don't want this to look like a patch of paint. I want it to look like it's just a lighter tone of the neutral gray that's already there. Okay. And always experiment and test out your colors before you actually spray on the model. And thinning it out, sometimes you need to reduce the air pressure to make it uh, spray a little smoother and to get the fine lines. Okay, so let's reduce that a little bit. Okay, now we can get a fairly fine line out of it. And we'll start just on this outer panel here. And we'll just basically fill in between the panel lines themselves, working from the inside out and just slowly building it up. Let's see if that's gonna be enough of a lighter shade. And always be sure to make sure you let it dry to see what the effect is. Okay. All right. Looking pretty good. I'll continue on some of these other panels. Let me do one other panel here to show. And it just needs to be just slightly lighter. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up or not, but uh, it's actually looking 
quite decent. It uh, isn't too stark to the eye, but it will show a difference. And when I start doing the panel lines at the end with uh, some pastel chalks, it'll bring it out even more. So I'll continue with that and uh, work all along the bottom and then do the extra parts. Okay, one thing I wanted to show was that uh, doing the fading here, I actually wanted the uh, ailerons, which were a fabric covered uh, structure to be quite a bit lighter so I'm going to really hit this with quite a bit more of the uh, lighter gray and that way they'll stand out because they would have actually faded to a lighter color actually they look different the minute they painted them because they were a fabric a dope covered fabric so we'll do them a little heavier to make them stand out you can match this if you want, usually freehanding it doesn't look too bad, but you can see it's quite a bit lighter there. And I'll do the same on the other side and on the tail surfaces.